In this video, guys, we're gonna look at instant ways to boost your PL, whether you're a losing trader or winning trader. These will help you move up the scale. Stay tuned. Hey guys, well, welcome to you. Thank you for joining me. All right, so these are instant ways, I think, to boost your PL. And you know, they're easy, they're super easy to do. Some of them are you know, maybe slightly harder, but they're not, we're not like saying, okay, uh, suddenly uh, revolutionize the way you enter the trade, suddenly, you know, make yourself better at making entries, suddenly do this. Not all these big hurdles, these are little things that you can actually do straight away if you decide to do it. And they, in my opinion, will instantly, instantly improve your PL, especially if you're struggling and you're losing money, like, how can I stop this? then this is a good way of at least stopping the damage and then working on the recovery. So number one, guys, trade less. Almost without exception, most traders trade too much. Most traders trade too much. Very rarely, very occasionally you come across a trader who doesn't trade at all, or they're kind of gun shy, they're nervous of pulling the trigger. Um, but more often than not, even if they do that, as isolated on one thing, they're probably trading too many, um, too many trades overall. And that is, if you're a day trader, you're over trading intraday, you're seeing stuff that's not there. If you're a swing trader, you're taking stuff that's not quite setting up for you, not quite ticking your boxes. Trading less is almost always beneficial. Just remember that guys, trading less is almost always beneficial. And if that's the case, then do it. Just trade less. You're better off trading less and then creeping it back up a bit if you feel like you're under trading, but that's not gonna happen. Very rarely are people under trading. Trade less and just think, the obvious thing is, guys, if you've been losing this quarter, if you've struggled this quarter, trading less, let's say you trade half, you'd lose half as much. Assuming the uh, it was distributed, the gain, wins and losses were distributed evenly, you'd just lose half as much as you had done. So immediately you're better off. However, more than likely, trading less means that you aren't triggered into a, into kind of over trading on tilt. You aren't triggered into trading too much size. You aren't taking substandard trades because really how it works is not a 50 50 split. Normally the first trades are good and then you over trade and those are the bad ones. You know, if you imagine this kind of scenario here is your block of trades. Normally these are kind of fine up to here is all okay. Maybe you've got a 50, 50 split or slight edge. These are ones that do the damage. You know, the ones when you're really at the end of the scale, you're over trading, you're trading too much size. So if you chopped it in half, you're going to chop those off anyway. You're going to be way better off. Worth looking at, honestly, guys. Number two, widen your stop. A lot of people have this problem, death by a thousand cuts syndrome. I've talked about it regularly, won't go into too much depth here, but you know, we want to have a tight stop because it means we can have bigger position size, bigger position size, more potential profit. I get it. But market is rotational. Market likes to have a bit of noise. Market likes to swing around a bit. Market likes to test levels. Widen the stop combined with reducing your position size. That is a good way of doing better. It keeps you in the trade longer, so it reduces the number of trades you're taking, and you're not getting a death by a thousand cuts syndrome, stop, 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 stop. All of a sudden you're taking on five times the risk and you really wanted to, it helps. And reducing your position size reduces the stress. If you're right up in the position size and you're trying to make as much money as possible, you're gonna be stressed, you're gonna make bad decisions. Dial it down, it's a marathon, it's not a sprint. There's a time where you want to increase that position size. There's a time when it'll work for you. There's a time when you're f everything's working fine and you'll be comfortable with dialing that size up. There's no need to do it too early. Stay in the game, stop the damage, come back, get a grip of things, start to make some progress, then start to increase that position size slowly. And then you can keep moving forward. Fourth thing guys, learn to take breaks. Too many traders are hammering away, sitting in front of the screen, not taking a break. Same if you're day trading and swing trading, if I'm honest, you know, at times when the market's just not conducive to your to your edge. It's your strategy's not working very well, your swing trader or day trader. Day trader more from a fatigue perspective as well, uh, but also if your strategy's not working, then you need to take a step back. Comes into this trade less. If there's no opportunity, it's fine as a swing trader. If you're an active swing trader, you're taking like two or three trades a week, to not take trade at all in a week or take one. And then some weeks you might take five or six. Same with a day, you know, it's some days you might not be any trades whatsoever. And that's the professional approach, guys. That's when you go, you know what? The market's not doing anything. I'm gonna use that as a signal from the market to take a break and do what I wanna do for today. Um, I'm gonna to plan later on, but I'm gonna go off. I'm gonna take a walk. I'm gonna do whatever you wanna do. You know, it's time when you're not gonna do damage to your account. Number five, become more focused. So not necessarily focused into the market, but more focused into your trading approach. If you've been struggling, one of the things may well be 
Um, and this will have an instant benefit, instant boost, guys. It's become more focused. I have a checklist before your trading day. Risk parameters, trading plan, journaling strategy. Don't go crazy, not asking you to do crazy stuff, but just becoming more focused in your approach and kind of giving the market the respect it deserves, guys. You know, to make money from the market, you know, is, is, is a big ask. You know, very few people can do it. That's why we have these statistics all over the place about a lot of several people losing money because they come into it, come into the market, uh, and they lose money. They come out of it. And the good news is, guys, is if you're here and you're a subscriber and you're kind of consuming content and you're trying to learn, you're saying, "Yeah, hey, I don't like what you're saying. I do like what you're saying." Then you're adding it and adjusting it. Then you're already in the upper set. You're already in the upper tier. You've already got the odds on your side. But add more. Do stuff that other people aren't doing by being a bit more prepared, being a bit more focused, and that will improve your performance. And the final thing is stop chasing action. So we have a tendency as traders to go, oh, that's active, and we jog over here and we start trading this. Oh, that's active, and we jog over here and we start trading this. All oh, that market's moving quick. All oh, this bit of price is spiking, whether it's in the market or there's other markets. Stick to your plan, trade your plan. Now, if you find your plan isn't aligned with conditions, you're missing opportunities, adjust the plan, come back in. Don't get seduced by seeing price action moves and spikes and things and going, oh, I'm gonna jump on that because it's moving, I'm gonna trade this now. You know, that's a recipe for disaster. Stay focused, stay planned, stay consistent, and eventually then you can start to add more things to take more moves into account, more markets into account. One thing at a time, nice and steady. If you're struggling, guys, these are instant ways, I think, to boost your PL. Try them out, let me know how you get on. Hope this helped. Take care, bye-bye.